and uh, this is what the table looks like in Group H after two matches. Slovenia's win over San Marino means that they are the only side uh, with maximum points and a famous win earlier on in the day for Kazakhstan over Denmark has left a four-way tie for second place. That, that result really blew the group wide open, so real frustration for Northern Ireland that they couldn't take advantage. They're away to Denmark next, doesn't get any easier. That's on June the 16th, and Finland are at home against Slovenia and San Marino play Kazakhstan. Keith, do you think that was a little bit of a, a reality check for Northern Ireland fans who maybe thought that, you know, the return of Michael O'Neill will bring back the good times and there's loads of talk about the feel-good factor being back, that it's, it's not going to be that easy. I, I, no, it's not going to be as, as easy as people think it is, but the bones of a good performance is there. You know, the, defensively, they were a little bit all over the place at times, but the unit was OK. The, the spaces between the, the midfield and defence was OK. It was just when they got to the final tour that really did all fall apart. They, there was moments in the game where they made bad decisions. There was one where I think it was Dion Charles gets in behind and you're thinking, go and drive into the box and commit somebody and he crosses a fourth time. Now, it's not a bad decision, but the cross doesn't come off and you're thinking, you've made the wrong decision. And time after time, they nick the ball off Kamara twice and they're right down the finished throats, but they play the wrong ball again. You're thinking, you just need to make a click in the final tour. And look, I, I get that there's a, a little bit of a lack of quality up there, but... I think Michael O'Neill would be, would be really annoyed at that because they, they, I know they were a little bit outclassed in the final tour, but, you know, Finland... There, there was no gulf between than, the sides, not at all. Not do you, at all, do you not think at all. The, the things that you were talking about there are things that they can, can work on, that can be improved upon, or does it just come back to fundamental lack of quality with, with attacking players? I think it's a bit of both. I think you just need a real clear thought process when you get into that final tour of what you're going to do. When you look at what they did against San Marino, when they got the ball wide, they put real quality into the box. They didn't overthink it. Tonight, they seem to get into into the wider positions and think we'll do an underlap, an overlap, play it in through the middle. And it just got all a little bit disconnected. You need to be all on the same wavelength and just a little bit more of a, a clear thought process. Although they'd be really disappointed with the loss, but look, Northern Ireland, they're not a bad team, just a little bit lacking up front.